Every parameter in the CWMP data model contains attributes in its XML definition. These attributes include the notification attribute and the access list attribute. The access list attribute was defined early on in TR69 to provide a method for assigning an access control rule identifier to each individual parameter. But this was never defined to more than one value, subscriber, meaning that the subscriber is allowed to change the parameter through some other mechanism. CWMP leads this attribute open to vendor extensions, but otherwise it is unused. The notification attribute is used to set the notification rules for the parameter. It can take a value from 0 to 6. The values 0 through 2 cover the basic notification mechanisms, and values 3 through 6 cover the lightweight notification or lightweight in combination with the basic notification mechanisms. The set parameter values attributes RPC takes five arguments. The first, name, contains a parameter path. Like get parameter names, this can be a complete or partial path. Partial paths and set parameter attributes are usually used to set passive notification or to remove notification. It can be dangerous to set active notification on large groups of parameters, which is why many parameters are assigned as can deny in the data model. This means that they can refuse to be set for active notification, though no parameter can refuse passive notification. The next arguments are notification change and notification. Notification change as true indicates that the value in the notification argument should be used as the new value for the notification attribute. If this is false, then the value in notification should be ignored. Similarly, the next arguments are access list change and access list. Access list change serves the same purpose as notification change. The CPE must only understand the value of subscriber for access list, but it must store this value regardless of what the ACS sets. Any other values are undefined and must be handled in a non-standard way. The set parameter attributes response contains no arguments. The get parameter attributes RPC is very straightforward and takes the familiar parameter names argument just like get parameter values. The get parameter attributes response contains a parameter list array of parameter attribute struct objects that include the name of the parameter and its value for notification and access list.